continuing our series on the fool's cap method as a way of starting and getting our minds around any kind of project, any story we're working on. Last week we talked about the first thing that goes on this fool's cap page and we said it was the climax, the last scene in our story. So let's go to the next one, which is the first thing that goes on the story, genre. Now what genre means in terms of storytelling is what kind of story are we telling? Is it a love story? Is it a Western? Is it a detective story? Whatever genre we, we have. If we can get our minds around the genre that we have, then we can really get a head start on the story. Now why is that? Because genres have conventions, meaning things, scenes, and sequences that have to be in. For instance, in a love story, the lovers have always got to go apart before they come together at the end. In a Western, you're always going to have a central character that is a man of violence or a person of violence. And there are many, many, many other conventions. Let me give you an example that will bring all this into clarity, I think. Here's a movie that we all know very well, I'm sure, The Big Lebowski. Now, I don't know Joel and Ethan Cohen. I've never talked to them about this, but I'm imagining when they started, when they were trying to get the idea down, they probably started with the character of the dude. And they thought, oh, it's going to be a great movie with this character. They probably even thought about Jeff Bridges and maybe had even talked to Jeff Bridges. But they then had to ask themselves, what kind of movie are we telling here? Is this a, is this a love story? Is this science fiction? What is it? And I think the breakthrough for them was they said to themselves, you know what this is? This is a detective story. This is a private eye story. The concept of this story is it's a detective story, but instead of having a hard-bitten Sam Spade, Humphrey Bogart type of guy as a central character, we have a sweet, lovable stoner. And they could say to themselves, that is a great idea. It's a combination of two genres, a slacker movie and a detective story. Now, let me get into some of the conventions of a detective story, and you'll see not only how this helped the Coen brothers, but how this really gave them the whole shape of the story. One of the conventions of a detective story, think about Chinatown, think about any Sam Spade story, is that the detective is always hired at the start to do a job, usually hired by some rich person. So that's the scene in The Big Lebowski when The Big Lebowski hires the dude. Another uh, convention of a detective story is there's always a glamorous woman involved. Like if it's Bogey in uh, uh, The Maltese Falcon, it's Mary Astor. If it's Jack Nicholson in Chinatown, it's Faye Dunaway. And so in The Big Lebowski, we have the Julianne Moore character that the dude becomes involved with. A third convention of the detective story is the detective gets beaten up multiple times. And if you think about Chinatown, Jack Nicholson has his nose cut. He gets beaten up in the orange orchard. He gets beaten up all the time. And if you think of The Big Lebowski, some of the funniest scenes and sequences in that movie are the dude getting beaten up. He gets his head mashed into the toilet bowl, et cetera, et cetera. And the key thing in any detective story, the key convention is the detective solves the mystery. And sure enough, the dude solves it. Nobody else solves it. So I'm coming back again to identifying for ourselves as we're trying to wrap our minds around our story, what's the genre? And if we know that, and we know these conventions that the, that genre has, we've already got kind of a roadmap in general of what our story is going to be. We just have to make it original. And the great thing is when you have the genre and climax as start, to, these two go together very nicely and they can help us knit our story together as we're trying to shape it in our minds. So to conclude, last week we talked about the first thing that goes on the Fool's Cap page is actually the last of all the things, it's climax. Well, how does our story end? And I put that first because it's the most important thing. Once we've got that, everything can fall into place a lot easier. But number one, the second thing that we put on the Fool's Cap page is genre. So now we have two, the number one and number 10.